desire. Anyways, shower time. Wait, I got a message? From her to eternity? Reply, re return to the place that reminds me of home and see what you find. So me? That you? Hey, I got you, Blue Moon. Just doing my thing. If you ever find yourself in Tokyo, hit me up. I'll show you the most Nova clubs. Hey, thanks for the offer. Maybe someday. All right. Later. Blue Moon is a uh, Blue Moon is sweet. She's a good one. She's a homie. Oh, I'm not doing too good, bro. Bro, boys, bloods, mates, mateys, yar. I don't know what just happened. All right, we leave the shower. We go get some coffee. Valid number, message not sent. Huh. Get some coffee. I really hope Somi is okay in descending. That's all I care about, personally. Alex is alive. Somi is alive. Reed died because he was too bullheaded. I want to go see what those coordinates are. Let's go. I hope my radio is working this time around. None of those shenanigans where it's buggy. Yeah. Uh huh. Nice. Hey, we got the radio, baby. How did Reed die? In this ending, Reed was attempting to stop us from letting Somi go to the stars. And right in front of the orbital ship, uh, he was pretty much saying to either turn, uh, abandon Somi there and give her up to him or die trying. So we shot him and he died, unfortunately, in this ending. He wanted us to to turn on Somi and we refused to the bitter end to the point that like I was I was trying to get him to give up and just walk away but he wouldn't I really did try every dialogue option I could until he just didn't have any other option than to be shot Eventually that's all I could do I made my choice when I sided with Somi He deserved to have agency. I've never managed to hit that. It's always slowed me down. What's up? It's the guy who killed your leader, by the way. Uh, canonically, I don't know why you still let me in, but hey. Fuck it, I guess. The mechs turned hostile. That's pretty funny. Ooh, I almost T-boned that. They just fear what I might do to them. Honestly, that's fair. I don't think they would win. I'd win. Nah, I'd win. Search the area around. Uh. A 
A container. A metal pin. A, sov a souvenir from the lunar city of Tycho. And a quantum tuner. Wow. The cyberware items. So she did make it. She made it, dude. She's alive. She sent us a little souvenir as well. That's sick, dude. They don't actually leave it ambiguous. She's fine. She's fine and somewhere. She left. She made it out. That's awesome. Sup? Sup? Show me what you got. Where do I put this in? Quantum tuner in my brain. I'm going to remove this then. I require way more stuff removed than just that. Oh, that's going to be hard to get the cyberware requirement for that. What do I have that uses a lot? I have too many iconics already. What if I equip a normal one of this? Wait, what? Why do I have two? What the fuck? How is that even possible? Um. 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 I guess I could take this off and get a normal Axel Newton module. There we go. And then I can equip the quantum tuner. Because I think the, the effect is better than this one. Because it also removes the cooldown time for all other cyberware thing. That's pretty slick. 125. I'm nowhere near that. Never mind. All right. No, I didn't need to talk to you. Can I open the door? Thank you. Ain't nothing without your help. Check okay. Now, with that done, what was I going to do? I wanted to check. Wait, why do I have relic points available? Oh, I forgot to put those back in. Oh, yeah, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to go around doing this. Because they give relic points. And I want to do that. What is wrong with my frame rate? Hold up a second. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Clean speed. Hold up. Fixing some stuff. Pausing some other stuff. Closing some stuff. The usual when I'm playing Cyberpunk, trying to restore my frame rate. There we go. It's a little bit better. Okay. Uh, let me also go this way. The legendary cum of 77. Exactly. You got it. How do I go up? Or is it not there? Hey. What a nice little elevator. Up. I hope I didn't send myself to the wrong thing. I arrived. Yippee. Whoops. Hey, fellas. What's up? I 
I failed that really? Really? for this honestly Turret is firing. Okay, the drone is down. You motherfucker. No, you don't. I think I did it. You got the cash key. You got a bunch of components. That wasn't even it. Really? Mildly disappointed. Oh, relic thing is above me. <laughs> Give me the operational data. All right. What is this again? Destroying vulnerability. I can stack the effects. And I can double... Double it at the end. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Where's the loot? Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Ooh. Whoa! Sparky! That's a big sniper rifle. They emit electric bolts on each headshot. Neat. If they understood English, you'd have to stop watching. Yeah. Or you'd have to feel, or you'd have to accept the responsibility of what you're doing. <laughs> For now, you're safe from that responsibility. Eh, you might not be. Kids are smarter than you think they are. They'll understand. Bits and pieces. There we go. Any other area that has this now? Or do I have to wait for the next one? I have to wait. Really smart. I wonder if I could just wait it out. Just spawn it. It's an ambush. It's not an, an ambush, bro. You're... Oh. 
Did I just hear a cat? I'm chilling, don't worry about it. We're good. Explosion, big woo. Something what if I like yeet? Yeah, I don't know about an ambush, but you're definitely dying. Why is it like canceling my thing on its own? The frick? I love how it keeps being like, ask about, ask Misty about the new tarot cards you found. Yeah, buddy. I'm going to ask Misty about stuff. She definitely will help me. All right, let's wait. Skip time. Maybe I'll get another spawn. They sound like me when I get started on horror games. All right. No. No, they don't. All right, you know what? Let's just go meet Hanako at Embers. Let's do it. Oh, my car. Do you like my car? Oh, hell yeah. The weeb song. Isn't this the one that goes hard dubstep as well? I think it is. enjoy this kind of music <laughs> motherfucker I didn't crash Ooh, that was close though he fucking breaks in the middle of the crossroad for no reason they're really trying to fucking kill me over here bro Was delayed as a normal person would i want to be a combat medic like on tv that's lovely sweetie it's wonderful to save lives anyways point of no return hey buddy Relic malfunction detected. Oh boy. God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Come on! Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. I should have saved before I entered that. Hold on, can I save now? Did it save for me? Can I save now? I can, okay. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. <laughs> Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, 
I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now you're such a I child. Knew. I'm not. From the start, you knew. All the board members knew. Not one soul, even slightly interested in the matter, believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a four needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Power. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Yeah, I don't know about Ensure that. continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Yeah, what Let's changed say I get your mind? But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that AB has flown by. Think someone might have told you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Fair, Why are we in a giant open room with massive open windows for a secret meeting? You're not very good at this, are you? <clears throat> Is everything in order? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that. Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... I really wish we got uh, cyberware for aesthetics in this you game. You catch a whiff of that? It smells like shit. Be careful not to step in it. He looks really he cool. must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-ma, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. 
Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. Johnny is not I enjoying this. I will get you into this meeting. And you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka top brass? <laughs> Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. The fuck precautions? Like, such as? Yeah. You will see. That's not how you get me to agree to this. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Sounds like it. Where would you get that idea? <laughs> it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. That's what you want. Everyone must know their place, V. Ah, yeah. That is a fact, my brother. There we go. Understood. That's what she actually wants. I know my place. And I have no wish to change it. You called yourself the heart of Arasaka. That's what you mean. You don't want to change that. You want to be the heart. You want to be the being heart of the company. You want to be the CEO. You want to be at the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. No wish well, to. Zen? Or no permission. You being a woman. I decide my own fate. Oh, is there like a... As should you. Is there like a... So, cannot inherit the company if you're a woman rule in the Arasaka? That'd be fucked up. Wouldn't be particularly surprised considering how old fucking Saburo Arasaka was. Motherfucker was from the 1970s, so... Would be possible. Probably 1960s even. Wasn't he... He might have been even older than that. How old was Saburo Arasaka? Hey, Google. How old was Saburo Arasaka in uh, Cyberpunk 2077? He was 158 years old. This motherfucker participated in the Second World War. Yeah, he probably would have a role that women can't, uh, women can't be the, the head of the company. That, that does add up. He was from fucking... He was from 1919. He was born in 1919. Reminder, guys. Rogue is in her 80s minimum. Uh, more than that, even, maybe. Carrie is in the same position. Uh, like, people do not age as quickly in the cyberpunk universe because they have, like, fucking... Like, auto-emitters of, like, all the things they need to stay in better shape and stay in better health and stuff like that. Like... As much as the world is dog shit, medicine has improved a lot as well in this universe. Of course, with cyberware being a thing and everything. Yeah, the only thing that keeps aging is the brain. Uh, which is kind of a big deal because that's 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 part of what they use for handling the cyberware. Uh, I don't like what I'm hearing. I don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. No, I simply offer you an opportunity. Not the first to try. But what if He's I also a billionaire? I wouldn't be surprised if it was we even a trillionaire. Take that chance. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V, do you feel all right? Huh? You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. I got a delta the fuck out of there. Some air right now. Yeah, no shit. <coughs> Did you reply? I went away, but I assume not. Wait, reply to what? I must have missed the message. Let me know. Oh, hi, Johnny. You scared me for a second. I didn't see. What was I supposed to reply to? I warned you. What? What are you doing? It could be hours from it now, V. And you can't stand on your own two feet. Well, I'm good to go. Body listens to me. See what I'm getting at? Of course I can see. You want me to hand over the keys? I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo endotrizine. Scooch and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Yeah? 
How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Socket Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's yeah. our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. Uh, you're right, buddy. I don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved. Their lives on the line. Possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Hanako's offers on the table. I'm sorry. Whose? Oh, cut the crap. She actually has power. Could be our ticket. Yeah, one-way ticket to the city morgue. That sucker cunt scrambled your circuits. Rogue and I will handle this, just like we used to. Rogue, I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny. It's gotta work. We breach the tower. Alt cracks open Makoshi. Then I fuck up that. Great, you checking out again? <laughs> yeah. Just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah. Almost done stabilizing the biochip. Uh, feels like. Someone's using your head as a knife block. How... how'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Sorry, then Misty. you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. That's... Dominant was your guardian angel. That's Johnny. Huh? I, uh... wasn't completely myself. I know. And that's a bit worrying. Give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up carefully. Okay. But don't expect a miracle. Ah! So slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Hmm. Yeah. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. Let me know, dude. You're dying. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I don't know why he's being so... You uh, know. V? Tell 
take matters into my own hands? The fuck you think I've been doing? Well, whatever it is, it keeps landing you on my table. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrizin there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. <sighs> or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue, Sokka Tower. Two million eddies? I actually have only like only 400 and something thousand at this work. point because I've spent it willy-nilly, but I could easily make more if I wanted to. Enough, Johnny. I just gotta think about it. Need, need to stretch, stretch your, your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, just in, not this in this basement. basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. How loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you got to do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Sad. Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. I just watched an old stream His and you were visibly disgusted to the hottest today. redhead in Cyberpunk Plus shaved my head. She was coffee. French. And let me guess. Derogatory. My aura is sputtering. I will not change my mind. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Vile. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. You could be Jackie. the hottest person on earth. What's if you're French, you immediately lose this? points. You'll see. Come on. That's just how that works. Yeah, you are French? I know. I am aware of the debuff I am in, like I have as well. Top floor. You think I don't know? He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my the Jackie. accent made it better. He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide of you? It's because it's a different timeline, forget. Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And 
I'm gonna leave you alone now. Why is Take that your time. dialogue bugged? Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Damn, I can only call Pan Am? Call him Pan Am. Pan Am. Just wanna hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? Won't keep you long. Just wanted to hear you. Hmm. You picked an interesting hour for it. B? Okay, what's going on? Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time, but I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Mm -hmm. Was good you called. Wish I'd have had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. That it did. Mm -hmm. Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats, but then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Isn't there a thing? Do I have to wait now? Is this where I have to wait? I think so, right? This is why I wait and I just look at him. <laughs> look at the gun, I think. I did the dialogue correctly, yeah. I'm at 85% with him as well. So I just gotta wait now. I can enjoy the view. Looks really cool. Need to wait five minutes? Well, boys, we're just sitting here, poggers. <laughs> we're just chilling. Is this endgame territory? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, do not spoil anything story wise if you can. But this is endgame territory. 
I don't know anything about what's, ha what's about to happen. I just know there was an ending. So I worked to get it, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what it consists of. So no one tell me. I don't want to know. I have to stand completely still. Hey, Google. Timer five minutes, please. I have a timer on now. Oh, ba 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 ba. I wish we could get more of this game, man. I know it's a shame. I, I know they're working on the next game. But yeah. I re-enabled the mic on my Google speaker and you triggered it. That's funny as fuck. I tried all of the DLC endings, John. Uh, last stream, we did a couple of them and the one before I did the other one. What is their next game? Well, the next one is probably going to be another Witcher entry, but they are also working on the follow-up to Cyberpunk 2077. They've already said they started working on it. It's going to be in UE5 and everything. So, yeah. It's a shame we won't get more Cyberpunk 2077 just because, I don't know, you know, it's there. But I hope that the next game will be as good as the version of this game that we got now. I don't want to wait two years next time. Thank you very much. If I can avoid it. I just old tabbed to close some stuff. And also, what are, what are you guys sending in the Discord? Oh, it's the Bufo Cats. It's the Bufo Cats. Am I not getting it? The what cats? The cats. Am I not getting it? Hey, Google, search Waluigi rule 34. That'd be pretty funny. It better work because I have enough. Wait for five minutes. I know, I know, I know. But I feel like I've been here for almost five minutes. No, maybe. I don't know. I'm impatient. Cause like I started my timer late, right? Kinda oh. tough deciding which of your friends get to die, isn't it? Good news is you got this one Chum who's already dead. And he'd be honored to join you on a wild suicide run. You, me, and Arasaka Tower. Kinda sounds like a Eurydine lyric, I know. But trust me, we'll go fucking Nova. Let's hear it. This plan, what would it entail, exactly? plan well might be how rogue operates mm -hmm. i say you grab the hottest iron you can find stride in the tower's front door and cut your own path down to the lower levels if makoshi's deep underground like hanako claims it is you'll just have to find the elevator if i gotta die rather fall into my grave gun in hand and on fire and not drag anyone down with me huh you just discovered what it takes to become a legend grab your eye let's mobilize welcome to arasaka tower <laughs> party like it's 2023 are not allowed on the premises <laughs> oh they weren't kidding you just fucking walk in Fuck. 
Oh, for the first time, we went up in smoke. Labs were underground. Elevators, what we want. Shit, needs an access token. Hmm. Okay. Need to find a guard with some chops. Status. He'll have our access token. Going a little bro. So far, so got good. it. So far, so good. They had no clue I was coming, so this actually works out quite nicely. Starting to think this plan wasn't batshit crazy after all. It really wasn't. Like, if they don't know I'm coming, their defenses are quite weak. You think about it. They got nothing. Go, go, go! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The knife, switch, switch. Thank you. Open fire! I'm looting a lot of access tokens. <laughs> oh, hi. You're so lucky there was a tree, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. But I'll do it. Oh, I gotta fucking go into the elevator. Let's leave. Ready now. Come on. <laughs> okay. Net run operations control. Sounds like a good place to oh. run. A Using Saburo's knife to raid Saka Tower and his sword, baby. I put there. See how she settles in. The irony. I'd expect a very warm welcome down below if I were you. Good. If we're going out, it better be with fucking fireworks. Hell yeah gonna be an ambush no doubt just focus you're better than them can't save no saving they don't let you motherfuckers got no love for foreplay What the fuck did my vision just do? Okay. Shoot Okay. Johnny was right. Just focus. You're better. <laughs> They're crying for backup, dude. Fuck. This hey, is the end. Over here. Uh, hold on. Even in my last moments, I got to loot. <laughs> is there a point to this? Probably not. But I like doing it anyways. Ah, nah, fuck it. Can't bother. Where's Johnny? Hello. Ain't no expert, but sure looks like the tower's mainframe to me. Ah, uh, that looks like a mainframe if I've ever seen one. All right, let's jack alt in there. Enemy contact. Oh, hi. Enemy contact indeed. Let's make this quick. 
Die here. <laughs> you don't want to die here? Yeah, not my fault. Not my business. Can I move? Hello? Door? Can I move through you? Thank you. Hi, mech. How about we don't do this? Cover. Camo. We got them all. Oh, he attacked me. Is that my one knife? No, there we go. Keep Rules of nature. <laughs> Exactly seeing any slots. God damn. Any frames under the floor, most likely. Need to find a way to eject it. Nah, like a goddamn adventure game. <laughs> Johnny has fucking lost his it. mind, and so have I. We'll find out. Damn. Good for cover you. Yeah, you're gonna need that cover. Let's play smart. Let's play smart. I actually gotta play this right, because if I lose, I lose. You don't get to. You don't get a do-over. I'd have to load the save from start, scratch again. That's the slot. Let's make alt at home. What the fuck? You're humongous. Why are you so big? Sure hope your ex output performs as advertised. Look on my works, ye mighty, in despair. <laughs> I am in control. Good shit, I'll. The path to Mikoshi lies open. Come on, let's go. All right, let's make it. Soccer netrunners have stormed the tower's systems. Stopping their advance is my priority. Continue on your way alone. All right. I've cleared a path, but you must hurry. An elite security unit is following you. Okay. Alt! You here? What's with the door? Well, I'll just do it myself. Now. I'll do it myself. What? Smasher. Why did it, the cutscene is still the one where if you have someone with you, even though I don't. Interesting. All right. Hello. All right, this is personal with you, buddy. I remember you in the anime, you little bitch. I know what you did! You gotta die! 
Are you gonna move or are you just bugged? You Am I just killing you too fast for you? I think I'm killing him too fast. Can I get up there? Hold on. <laughs> you thought you were safe! You thought you were safe! Oh, hi, you're fast. Oh, double heart. Okay. Oh, nah! I got fucking spawn killed! God damn it. No checkpoint. Straight to the ending. <laughs> yeah, I got locked. I got fucking spawn killed. God damn it. Straight to the death ending. That's so funny. Alright, we're gonna skip this. We're gonna again. No, there's no fucking point. I mean, he... Uh-huh. Go on. Do it. You'll see. It'll help. Yeah, it's the same ending as if you do something really stupid. All right, back to menu. We're going to load it again. I'm going to make it work. Whether they like it or not. I'm going to try this as many times as it takes. The bad thing is... I fail. I restart the entire fucking mission. Right? Is that not it? Oh, no. There seems to be auto-saving. I thought it was the entire mission. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was the entire mission, but it doesn't seem like it. Don't wait. Leave your earthly worries, ulcers, and tumors behind. And... Yeah, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, bug. Okay, there we go. Alt! You here? What's with the door? I gotta heal. Wait, I can't heal over that? Why am I, why am I capped on health? What? What is happening with my health? Huh? Don't strain yourself now. Smasher. Hold. And Hold on. Uh Hmm. Oh, can't do that right now. Oh, this is like this is how they nerf you, I think. Let me move. Yeah, it doesn't let me heal more than that. Oh, really? 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 That hide is enough to make me get the full thing? Ugh. I wish there was a way to never have that happen again like the the full thing i wish there was a cyberware to just not be affected by it or like you don't get stunned no, when you fall no fucking point. like it'd be so cool you know it'd be so cool especially for gameplay like the one i'm doing with the melee build 
Trans City International and Trans Luna. Don't wait. Leave your earthly worries, ulcers, and tumors. All right, we go again. Take three. Alt, you here? What is this What's message that I have? Fucking the door. Malone. Hold on. Come on. There we go. Don't strain yourself now. Yeah, this this cutscene is so weird because it implies that you have someone with you when you don't right now. damage again Oh my god, again. Heads down. Scrub out this rot cow! I will rip your brain from your skull! What the fuck is this, dude? Johnny Silverhand sends his regards. Are you fucking with me now? He's got a point, V. Shut up and finish him. Be done with it. Could I have gotten a special finisher? Maybe not. Took down Johnny's arch enemy. Gotten good, I guess. Damn, it feels nice. Damn, it feels nice. Get fucked. <laughs> Judgment, baby. Oh, I can't even loot anymore. I'm slowed down. Yeah, I got the card. What is it? I can't even look at it right now. It doesn't let me open the menu. That was for Rebecca. You piece of shit. We saw this place in a dream. Find the access point in the center of the room. You must connect to it. Then submerse yourself in coolant. I will be waiting. Damn, I'm not doing good. Come on, not much further to go. Let's do it, Johnny.
don't know how, but it worked. You're just that good, V. You're just that good. Truly a legend. See you on the other side. guy can i pet you i can't okay another one the whole gang is here they're all there Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants and oyster shells. Hmm. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming I'll just just yapping at this point oh do not ask what is it let us go and make our visit she's just she's just saying words yeah she's fluent in Japanese you're right <laughs> I love the yapping emote so much <laughs> so uh this is mikoshi huh cyberspace is wild no i know it's a poem I'm, i i i know i know I wonder how they deal with the rendering of this place. It looks sick, though. I like it. You're here. Who was right, you cranky bastard? Ha. Huh. You are right, V. You are. <laughs> and who just ate their words? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Where'd you go? Is this it? The infamous prison of souls? Not how I remember it. But Alt wasn't running the show back then. So, where are all of Soul Killer's victims? Fuck if I know. We only see what Alt wants us to see. So, when do we start? Have it caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Oh. Hey, Alt. Hey, Alt. So seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean... I... 
Am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next steps to copy you into the gonk's brain. Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me exactly. <laughs> I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny Data incursion and override. But V's engram. Yeah, he's not very smart. V didn't know that. Meaning you can transfer his psyche back into his brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. And that's terrifying, by the way. That's what they meant with uh, the pursuit of immortality. Because if you can do that, what stops you from soul killing yourself, which is horrible, right? And then slapping that into another brain and then boom. Like, yeah, you have a different body. You can modify that. And now imagine, what if you did that to your son? Well, the compatibility would be higher. Wink, wink. <laughs> you two still plan to obliterate Mikoshi? Mm hmm. It's got to burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. Not wrong. Someone working this as we speak. Oh, Zowsi, like to be clear, this is actually a another ending. So do I tell do I tell you guys some of the other endings? I mean, there's one where you literally just take the pill and die. I can tell you that, which is really sad. And there's multiple endings depending on who you can ask for help. And then there's this ending where you just go and do it yourself. And at the end, most of them all have the same thing where you have to make different decisions. Uh, yeah, the Arasaka ending is really sad. And then there's this, uh, where I think one of the decisions leads you to see a post-game scene where you see that Yorinobu Arasaka, remember the guy who killed his dad at the start of the game, which led us to towards this entire story, no longer seems quite like himself. And there's a reason for that. While doing the last mission, you find out that uh, Yorinobu Arasaka is still alive. They they had like a copy of him. I don't remember if they do it with his dead body or something. I don't remember how they do it. I don't think you can do it when they're dead. But basically, he fucking copies himself onto his son and takes over his body. And comes back as the CEO. Well, I guess stays the CEO as his son but really he's Yorinobu uh he's Saburo Arasaka yeah that ending is probably one of the most like terrifying yeah I think okay so Wabbit that's not confirmed right we don't know that Yorinobu knows that right the world knows it's Saburo yeah yeah, yeah no I know but he comes back into his son's body he says that he figured out a way to be immortal essentially by taking over his son but it's not confirmed that Yorinobu knew, right? He knew? Did he though? Did they ever really confirm confirm that? I feel like it's kind of a theory without anything 100% backing it up. Unless there's a log I didn't read or something. But yeah, he effectively turned his son into a backup. Like straight up. It's dark due to Saka ending. But I did. Yeah, Yorinobu, Yorinobu was trying to protect the world. Honestly. Yorinobu is actually... The decent Arasaka. Technically speaking. Gave his body to me? I didn't remember that bad guy. I think that that's a lie. That Saburo says. I think they force him to give his body. There's no Yorinobu would have given his body. I don't think he would have given his body in any way, shape, or form. Ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lie. Exactly. So yeah, I don't think Yorinobu knew. I think Hanako knew. I think that's why she's like, you know, doing what she does. And that's how she resets. And that's what her plan is, by the way. Yeah. 
Yorinobu was trying to stop whatever the fuck is going on without necessarily knowing the whole story, I think. He just knew something was up. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. It's never said explicitly that he knew the whole story. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Shit. Fuck. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. P and Wouldn't I you be able to reverse that process, though? You know, just pump some nanites in there and fix it. Wouldn't make for a good ending, though. So, you know. Yeah, no, that's why kids are of. That's why she says she knows her place. It's just not as obvious until you know more. I can't... I can't believe it. Everything. All we did. It was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. What's it like? Beyond the Black Wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind. At least yeah, no I know, John. Ride my ass there. Granted, what then you just can't use construct? thingies. Just so, yeah. So we find another way. Finding another way would mean making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. Jesus. To be a shapeless shadow in a digital afterlife. I really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations. From the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No. We left with fading memories. Sharing a bed, head splitting hangovers, sea breeze on my face. No, my guy, it's happened. Like, the DLC literally is just that. Kind of. So take no. back your life. The six months you got left. Because you live longer than six months in that ending. So you can. You just lose the ability to chrome up. So, you know. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price, anyway. Because it is. Oh, I'm so Come sorry, on. bad guy. That well, there is a special hole. DLC ending. See? I forgot that you didn't see that. Could be the flames of hell or heaven's My grace. Might also be an engram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data. But an animal still prowls inside us. She has two wolves and inside of her. <laughs> survive, almost can't be extinguished. Yeah. That instinct's part of being human. But so is denying it. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant, I don't know, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here, for folks like us, wrong city, wrong people. He said the thing. He had the right to make a choice you have earned through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Oh, if you were me. <laughs> What would you do? You should come with me. 
What's that mean for me exactly? Am I gonna become like you? As a Netrunner, you will find your way through a materially limitless world. Beyond the Black Wall, dangers lurk. It is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither, trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. Hmm. And Johnny does Pan Am instead? I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Hmm. I'm considering my options. I'm thinking. If I'm honest, I don't think Johnny has much else that he like cares about. Like the older people he knew, Rogue has more or less moved on. Alt is a fucking AI demon. <laughs> All the other people he knew are effectively dead or might as well be or like have moved on. Carrie's moved on. Rogue's moved on. So it'd be it'd be starting from like, you know, from scratch. In a new body, a new life. If I go Probably go with Pan Am, spend six months, die. Yeah. Affiliate, thank you for the two one for four months. I appreciate that. Ah, you know. I'm going to be honest. Being completely pragmatic, I think I'm going to give it to Johnny. He's a tomb. He's a homie. I want him to get another start. I like him. When I told you the piss to Sophia, we stick to that. I'll go. You stay. Turn in your back on the problem again? Nah, you were a homie. And I'd rather you make it. Come on, Johnny. He do be a Tumfi. He deserves another go. What? A little guilt creeps in and that's that? You give up? Nah, it's not based on that. Stop. Just stop. Not guilt, Johnny. Gonna just roll over instead of fighting for what's yours? Decommiss yourself because you're too fucking scared to say goodbye? I would tell you goodbye if you weren't pissed at me right now. It's my decision. Let me make it. Plus, I kind of want to see... Grant you that. But damn it, are you dense. Haven't changed a bit since we met. You're trying so hard to push my buttons, buddy. I'm so damn tired, Johnny. I just want to start it new, even if I don't know what that means. I think V in the cyberspace is an adventure I want to follow. V, I'm just, I'm just scared for you. Aww. Wait, another dialogue. Oh, I can say goodbye to him. Let's go. I'll see you around, Johnny. He's actually sad. <laughs> Can we hug? Like a little shoulder hug? I'd hug you. Take care, bro. 
Take care, tomb. Hey. You better not let Arasaka keep going, all right? Or Militech. All of them. You better be the best terrorist there ever was. <laughs> you got my body, bro. Hey, you better learn how to throw knives. And use swords. Okay? Also, send Devastat. I don't know if you ever had one of those. They fuck with you, I promise you. But you'll get used to it, I promise. Uh, you might not have the fucking relic powers anymore. I don't know how the fuck that's gonna work. But, hey. Uh, you got this, all right? I mean, hey, if we took down Saka Tower like that... I know you can do it as well, right? So, you got this. Ruining the moment. What do you mean ruining the moment? I was just like, hey, giving him the last little, you know. He's just like, come on. You know what to do, okay? You've got, like, the legendary body of the man who killed fucking Adam Smasher. Come on. I know you got this, okay? Yeah, he got Vic. He can respec if he needs to. He's gonna go cyber psycho within seconds. <laughs> no, no, no. He's got the perks. He's, he's built for it. He got, he got this. Into the cyberspace we go. Ooh. Whoa. Hey, all things considered, this is a good ending. I can maybe help the paralysis. Maybe I can take out the rogue AIs. V versus the rogue AIs. Cyber war. Let's fucking go. That'd be sick. Also, flash warning in case I didn't warn you guys. No, the outfit is set by this mission. This wasn't my normal outfit. Oh my god, that is a flashbang. I was wearing them the entire game, bro. Fuck. Don't think I'll ever get used to this. I wore them the entire game already. <laughs> Am I wearing it? Yeah. Johnny's shirt? Wait a minute. What? He put on a shirt? He's not wearing his trademark fucking... What? I'm shocked. The trademark tank top with the samurai on it. Samurai logo. All right, notification systems. Misty, hey V, something happened? Oh, you're a coward, Johnny. Oof. Oh, they know. How do they know? You fucking sociopath. Yeah, they don't know. Oh, Mama Wells. Yeah, Pan Am is pissed. Even if Johnny explained, I don't think any of them would trust him. Transaction within 24 hours. All right, I got to go pick up a package, I guess. Shit, got a pack too. And oh. I gotta stop talking to you, V. <laughs> he's talking to himself because he's used to it. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you. Is he going to go to a niche that he got for him? Not oh. much. 
but I'm all right with that. Nice. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. Let's go talk to Steve. Richard Knight? <laughs> it's Richard Knight. I built this fucking city. Open up. Richard Knight, the founder of Knight City. Hey. Hey, guy. What's up, Chum? Because I got that new album from Curse These Metal Hands. First four tracks? Preen genius. Been practicing those chord progressions. Got the shivers first time I played it. But... Gets kind of lame further in. Oh, yeah. yeah, but I keep botching them. Bet I doubt you didn't I'll get ever that play shiner through. all by yourself. Um, old man. I still suck. I know. Practice, Chumba. You'll get it in the end. I think Eventually, the dialogue bugged there for a little bit. Think about it. But he felt bad You'll about it later. Feel you know? the flow. Yeah, this is bugged. Been working on another song. Want to hear it? Later, maybe. Kind of in a hurry now. He was still whacked from the night before. Couldn't tell his ass from his elbow. You forgot it happens. No reason to hit you. Hmm. What about you? What's up? Yeah, I don't know how I chose dialogue though, because I didn't see the option to do it. What the fuck? And now I don't get dialogue anymore. Hello? Game? Okay, well, this is working very nice. Continue conversation. There we go. Need wheels and a good driver for the day. A couple of things in town I got to take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wigs out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. Mm -hmm. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips, make them sore. Just how it is. Oh. Don't worry. Play long enough and you'll get calluses. Start hitting those. What do you think you're doing, you little shit? Won't hurt a Going bit. Going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside now. I'm not about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? Oh, fuck's sake. You swipe my keys again? Inside. Now, you shit. What the fuck you want? Get your own wheels, deadbeat, and stay the hell away from my boy. Hey, I'm Maybe talk Steve wouldn't be so eager to ghost out of his home if it wasn't a drunk tank. <laughs> you think your place is any better? I don't got a kid. Keep this shit up. You won't have one either. Damn. Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp? All look the same to me. Probably a yapper. Goddamn Our place isn't a drunk tank. Actually shorts. clean. Didn't mean how it looks. Just who's in it. Now he bangs on that damn guitar all night and day. Better whip that boy in line. He doesn't know it's his own music. I'll, I'll run away. Couple of years and you can move out. Forget about him. Forgive him even if you find it in you. Maybe when I grow up and I'm tough, like you. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's all right. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, writing that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains. Especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. 
The real deal always has been in every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Kid doesn't even double take that. Don't forget, it's not the easiest gig. Yeah, yeah, I know. Gotta work hard, practice. To start, sure, but it only gets harder after that. The critics, the haters, non-stop pressure, batshit crazy lifestyle. It can chew you up. Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice like anything else worth doing. Sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Preem. Lyrics don't come easy, though. I come up with anything. Seems like it's already been done, or it just sounds stupid. Kind of don't really know what to write about. Mm. Write what you know about. Golden rule of songwriting. Any writing, really. But I don't hardly know anything. Maybe our building, I guess. First of all, that's bullshit. And second, Tower Life's potentially great material. And third, there's always a third thing. You're young. Give yourself time. Ideas will come. Life will shake you, grow you, maybe embrace you. The music will find you. Good line, Johnny. Good line. I love this ending, man. I know it's sad because V goes, but like, I don't know. I like Johnny. This is my canon ending in my head. Even the first time I played the game, I really liked this ending. It just feels right to me. V actually makes it to the top. He's the legend. He's the legend Johnny never got to be, actually. When you think about it. It's got some bittersweet aspects to it, but I think it's the better ending for for the for the two bros, you know. The two bros. This is it in my mind. I'm a simp for Pan Am. Pan Am is great, but I don't think that you get to resonate with Pan Am the way you do with Johnny personally. That might just be me. I think Johnny is the only character you truly get to like I don't know. No, no. In this. And like the influence you have on each other and stuff. Madame feels the same from the start to the end, in my opinion. She's the same person when you meet her as when you like eventually don't talk to her anymore because the story doesn't give you more content with her. She hasn't really changed that much. At least in my heart. Yeah, it's Johnny and V's body. That's why. Yeah, it's a cool mirror between the two characters, I agree. Yeah. Thanks for the gifted sub, Nat. Thank you. We have arrived. Preem. Hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new releases. Alright, let's go. Time machine, baby. Down, 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 down. Down, down, down. Probably nothing new, but we'll see. Hey. What can I do for you? Heard Carrie Uridine pops by once in a while. Best music story in Night City. Everybody pops by occasionally. Know why else they come? No, but got a feeling I'm about to find out. I don't snoop on customers, don't keep no record, and I don't run my mouth. So, how can I help you? Smart. Looking for a six string electric. <laughs> can I help you, sir? Feast your eyes. I 
want something solid and true. What? And they're not? Cheap clunker is made out of shit plywood that itself was made out of unseasoned veneers. Still playable. Just gotta know how. Rattle on the low E, cause the next bode. Nothing a screwdriver won't fix. Most important thing is the pickups. <laughs> Guitarist gotta have something decent there. Don't give half a fuck how it looks. Okay. No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. And willing to pay real money. Ah, oh, should have said so. Come on, let's go out back. I'm coming too. Sure, you might learn something. You can come to the store and buy a couple of unique records and guitars here. That's pretty cool. How's this? Whoa! To the right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Henderson. Vintage axes in the back. Tensor Paradise. This a replica? Real as you or me. Gotta be over a hundred years old. Double humbucker, neck screwed in, not glued. A beauty. Classic. Perfectly balanced, too. Barely needs holding. Deleuze Orphean. Not a fake. Take a good look. Relax, just making sure. Looks authentic, well maintained. Must be around, shit, 70? 90 and still going strong. Fretboard's pure organic ebony. That's pretty sick. Wanna try this one? Be my guest. I'ma let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. <laughs> Never ever heard anyone play Silverhand like that. <laughs> he doesn't you know. You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. Practice every day and you'll play like that. Maybe better. You can learn anything, I promise. Uh, I don't know. I can learn a few riffs by heart, but it'll only ever be performing, never next gen. Good point. That's why it's better to invent your own jam. That's what practice is for. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? What? Don't think you're any good? A little self-criticism is useful. But believing in what you got, that's much more important. A real rocker boy. Doubt that'll be me, ever. Come on, have faith. I just don't say things I don't fuck think is happening. True. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck, my hands are shaking. What is happening to my left, dude? Some NPC outdoors is like getting cr like crashing nonstop Rock with their car. Rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know? Yeah, there's a truck sexing out so there. Well. What the fuck? What is happening? In time, you learn who you really are. What you really want from <laughs> the world. I don't understand. Yeah, you welcome to Night nice City, rebel, I guess. You gotta be yourself first. Be authentic. Rebels are made, not born. Made from the punches life throws at them. The punches they take. I can't, I can't you know, take this you're this weird. Way. But I like you anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I do my best. Huh. You're alright, kid. Gonna play some more? 
Nah, short on time. Let's pay. Delta out of here. And? I'll take it. Excellent choice. Glad to see she'll be in, uh, in good hands. Help you with anything else? No, thanks. Here you go. 5k, that's all it costs. See ya. <laughs> Delta. Oh Still yeah, Johnny's starting his new yeah. life with uh, All right. a good amount of cash, huh? I left him with half a million eddies, dude. God dang. Bro, he's just chilling. You know, I truly do wonder what the fuck that sound was. Didn't buy a case for it or anything? Damn. All right, let's roll. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. What? The radio is not even working. Well, at least you get the subtitles. A small crew of dare demons who blasted their way through our Saka Tower a few months back. Yeah, they're talking about us. Oh, it was just like back in Silver Hands Day. Yup. Our Saka got hit financially on that. Yes, it did. Still, that was nothing compared to the PR lambasting Secure Your Soul took. Media turned that program into a scandal smorgasbord. Yeah, my radio seems to have a bug re regularly. You remember all that now, don't you? Oh, court faced some nasty accusations. Psyche abduction, torture of human engrams. Most tasteless of all, though, playing God. Ugh. Yeah, I was actually alone. They don't know that, though. So, what do we make of this tussle with Militech that could always turn hot? Experts are calling it a smokescreen to take the edge of Arasaka's true troubles. How'd you like that? Think the Japanese Kyojin can survive this bout? My dad says there's going to be another Cope War. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Asking the wrong guy. Got no interest in the topic. Couldn't care less, to be honest. Know why? Why? Because I realized I don't have to. Mm -hmm. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. City looks alive. Um, because everyone's out walking around? Not what I mean. It's like we created a monster and never even noticed when it started to eat us alive. <laughs> like Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster, you mean? Mm -hmm. Johnny would be such a little, you know. You know what? You're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers. Just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead, and I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. No, I know it is Frankenstein's monster. Nice it's just funny. Looks good on you. It's the bullet. Just a keepsake. Oh. Uh, belong to someone important? Yeah. Someone Some... really important. Ah. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs. That's sweet. I was just actually 
You wanted to do it back then, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, actually, it's Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein is the name of the scientist who made the monster. You know? Anyways. <laughs> Packer's voice? It could be. I was thinking the same thing. It could very well be. I don't know. I know a lot of people probably don't like this ending, but this is my favorite one. It was already... It's, it's just... I don't know. There's just so much about it. And I actually do care about like the the relationship that Johnny and and uh, and V developed throughout the game. As like bros. Like yeah, it's not the goodest happiest ending, but there's no goodest happiest ending, and that's the one that leaves me feeling the most satisfied at least. The only thing that would have made this better. And then it would have been the de facto happy ending, which no one would have liked because it would be too easy. Is if uh, V had the time to, like, in cyberspace, fucking call everyone. And, like, let him know before he goes. It would have been too easy, though. Can I come with? Wait here. Wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. Two damn weeks before they announced that biochip. Well, I've heard of better I only want you to become somebody. You can still change. Anyway, think you'll pick one up once they could have made Johnny call them? Yeah, but like I said, no one would believe him. Wait, which one is the star ending? I don't remember off the top of my head right now. Which one is the star ending? Star is Pan Am. Oh, okay. Ali Caldos. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This around anymore, you know. Can't keep wallowing. Can't keep obsessing over what happened. I wouldn't want I you to forget you anyway. I'm wearing your goddamn face. That must be really hard for him, honestly. Like, man, this is really sad. He's like gonna wake up every morning and he sees the face of his best friend that like gave themselves up for him. Like, that's really, really rough, man. That must be really fucking rough, dude. Thanks for... Huh. Well, for everything. I'm wiser now. And I don't plan to waste it. So this is goodbye. Not a good ending. I like to think that right now V is fucking duking it out with fucking rogue AIs in cyberspace and fucking shit up because that's what he would now. do. He's throwing cyber knives at their cyber heads while using his cyber sandevistan and then dashing at them with a cyber sword while he's cyber thunder clapping flashing at their ass, dude. Hey, hey, what's this? Want one? <laughs> Gave all that up. So should you. Bad for your body. Bad for your soul. Even quit smoking. Where to now? Mm, I got a bus to catch. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? 
Not that long ago. You miss him? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Hmm. How many times do I have to tell you? As long as you come, do we not say goodbye or anything like that? Foot in my house. No. Does he just no go? Way. All right. Goodbye, kid. Take care of yourself. Or do I have a dialogue option? No, I don't. Okay. No car coming. No car coming. Nice. What about the guitar? Pretty sure that was a gift for the kid. Yeah, no, I fucking love this ending, man. <laughs> this, if they were to choose any ending as canon, I really do would hope they would choose this one. I know a lot of people would probably not be happy because, you know, it's, it's an RPG. You don't want to choose a different ending uh, or something, but I like it. What a game, man. What a game. Avi, I know you're a free bird and all, and you're gonna do what you want when you want. But you could at least let me know you're alive, you know? I, I don't want to <sighs> say anything, but you missed your last checkup. And like I told you a million times, uh... Sorry, Vic. Just call when you can, okay? See ya. V, dejate de pendejadas. Straight to voicemail again. What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? I know I wanted to tell you I, I'm cooking a supper on Sunday for Jackie's birthday. All his favorite food, <laughs> chilaquiles, tamales. If I could get some real corn, oy, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care, love. Poor people. Hey, V. Long time no see. No. Let me guess. Still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. No. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. Wait, it takes off your shoulders. I, I can't even describe it. 
All right. Enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. I'm glad I managed to make Judy a homie in this run. Really? You're just gonna avoid me? Of course you would, you fucking coward. Here's a bit of advice for you, Johnny. Enjoy your new lease on life, because it's not gonna last long. I'm serious. Believe me when I say I'm going to find you, you fucking psychopath. Wherever you're hiding. I feel and sad for Pan Am. I'm gonna rip V out of your head. Don't ask me how, but so far I'm counting on sheer will. You know what you are, Johnny? A parasite. A fucking tapeworm. You hear me? Enjoy the little time you have left. <laughs> Hello, B. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain B in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always worm? take Tapeworm. care of Tapeworm, they're like parasites. And, um... Yeah, it is a gig name. Now, You're right. You're I feel bad for Pan Am, but I also I wish she was able to just, like, you know, move forward. Guess it's a bit hard in this context. Uh, she doesn't really know the full story, so... And see you around. But you were right, forget Pan Am was indeed pissed. <laughs> hey, hey, can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Sorry, I'm rubbing my eyes. Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back. I know a lot of people like the star races. ending, but the fact that or V just dies six months on to me is shit. just like a delayed. Guess what I'm they don't show you the sad well. part, I guess. Badlands Which is easier on the player. Like you, v. But I don't think that's don't actually a nicer ending. Right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now take care. Everyone dies eventually. Yeah, if that makes sense. So you, it feels like that, that ending message. to me is, you know, what Johnny, it is. Johnny, look, I've been around long enough to know that anything is possible in your fucked up world. But I never imagined this, even from you. You must have made a pretty big impression on V for getting him on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering how you feel about that, Johnny. Having another person give their life for you. Especially when you're probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid he was. Hey, give Johnny some credit. Finally learned its lesson. That is, if you I think he's learned. Give him some credit. Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. I won't. Hey, B, so funny yeah, I don't think I could live with the timer above my head. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service fast. I feel bad for Carrie. We were such homies as well, man. What did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on a tour with them? At first, I was like, oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait, I could actually be fun. <laughs> Have fun, Eurodyne. Have well, fun, Mr. Eurodyne. If you care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out. Live your best life, bro. I want that world tour in 2079 to be real. B, hey. So, here's the thing. No, Rogue knows the truth, but... The fifth precinct busted you know. a shop selling illegal iron. Only so much. Offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. That's kind of dark. Still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. See you around, River. It was a blast. I'm glad I got to do this quest line this time. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote this say, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts. I wish we got to write something like that. About death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai. So I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell. Xero. He's saying that to Johnny, right? Hey, it's oh my god, it's Jefferson. B, you're gonna want to hear this. But first, 
need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. Yeah. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Yeah, I did destroy our so I guess that's fair. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, yeah. And don't forget to delete this message. Poor guy is going paranoid now. Hey, V. Sorry to bother you. I know you're a busy man and everything. But, well... I was wondering how you were doing, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The hanged man. The magician. The star. Those... Those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. They're something like death, but... Not quite. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll... I hope to hear from you soon. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, Takemura reminds me a lot of Reed, actually. Takemura and Reed remind me a lot of each other. More than more than the DLC tries to tell you that Johnny and Reed are the same. Because the DLC really is like, oh yeah, Johnny and Reed are the same people. I'm like, not really, not in my opinion. Some aspects of them, maybe. Closest to knowing the truth, but the most out of the loop. Yeah. So life was missing. You little flame and consume my hate. I'm now This and one of the DLC endings are both like pretty decent endings. Both are bittersweet. Both have really sad aspects to them. But both are decent. Cause we lost everything. Yeah, in the same way, Alistair, literally, I actually genuinely think that Takemura and Reed are more alike than any other character in the game. Uh, Reed is the same thing with Militech. Oh, not Militech, sorry, the NUSA. Blah. This is better, though, yeah. Agreed. Far better. I don't know why, but losing Johnny for V feels like it was worse than losing V for Johnny. I don't know how to explain it, but that's how it feels to me. And the like the the permanent damage to the body that was done. It's really good. I think of beauty, I know. I, I dude, I said this last time, but I hope whatever they're cooking for Cyberpunk 2, Cyberpunk 2077 <laughs> 2. Whatever they decide to call it, it's probably going to have a name rather than a number. But you get what I mean. Whatever the sequel ends up being like, I just hope they take their time for it this time, man. Release the game in this state next time, dude. Take your fucking time. It's not going to be in 2078, I don't think. If anything, I have a feeling they might... They might make another jump in the future, but I don't know. I don't imagine it's going to be in the past, but maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, I don't see them doing like a 20 fucking 30 game or 2020s game or 2040s or something like that. But they could. They could, realistically speaking. I mean, there's such a dense lore for every decade in this universe, apparently, that they totally could. A story in the time of Red. When is Red again? That's in the 2010s, no? Yeah, before the data crash era would be pretty cool, yeah. I'm kind of curious what that would look like. Not too far off. I feel like 2100 would be a cool jump or something like that. Right after Johnny's attack. Oh, red is right after Johnny's attack. Okay. I didn't know about that. There's a lot of corporal wars they could throw us into. And with how many hints they do at the stuff beyond the black wall in this game, you know. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. It could still be in the same the same time as well. There's so many stories they could they could just go to a different. They've already confirmed, I think, that the next game will be in a different place. So, 
had to guess they're gonna make a game based in europe they might even make a game based in poland because i don't fucking know close to home or based in europe and then you go to different places in europe or something like that maybe that's just a uh, a random thought though i hope it's not in france please god no i beg of you any country but france just make it the uk so we hear british accents those sound nice i don't want to hear a french accent again i i really don't i really fucking don't that dlc was plenty accent enough i am i'm no not again They may do something with Black Hand. It's very uncertain whether he's alive or dead after all. I don't remember who the fuck Black Hand is. Like, I know Morgan Black Hand. I know his name. I don't know who the fuck or what he does and where he is and the fuck he was doing, you know? Time of Red is the name given to the time where the sky was stained red after the mass destruction of Fallout of that bombing. Oh, that makes sense. They underrepresent the threat from uh, artificial general intelligence. Blackwell is not enough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they could totally make a game like that. Though I feel like that would uh, that would edge outside of cyberpunk and a lot more into, like, you know, Terminator story type stuff. And I don't know if they want to do that. It would lose a lot of the stuff that the setting has. You know what I mean? It would lose a lot. Definitely. I want to read a fan novel I'm reading, but got to wait for it to update. Hey, that's the good stuff. British cyberpunk is just 40k? I hate that you're right. I really hate that you're right. I, I really, really hate that you're absolutely correct. Please not Germany though. Hey, they might. The most legendary solo? Yeah, that's what I heard. Morgan Blackhand is definitely alive. He's a solo based of a TYRPG. What is TY? I know TT. Is that what you meant to type? Tabletop RPG? Solo with an anodized black chrome symbol in arm. He is defined by the fact that he is a pragmatist. Blackhand is able to survive because he's street smart and is constantly looking out for his own interest. His reputation as a top solo is partly due to the fact that he is able to capture targets alive rather than simply killing them. Blackhand is considered to be a solo solo. Okay, that makes sense. He sounds really cool. He could totally be either a character that you interact with or a character that is the main character of like a game. Maybe less RPG? If they made that, maybe more action game. Dude, I actually, okay. Unpopular opinion, but it would be easier to develop. I would totally play a game with less build diversity than what we got in Cyberpunk 2.0. And it's just a pure action game if it's easier for them to develop and make a lot of spectacle out of it. And just give you like solo gameplay, you know what I mean? Like first person shooter type shit. Yeah, maybe less build for more narrative direction. I'd take it. I'd take it. More of just like a first-person shooter campaign. They can put some innovative ideas in there, but, you know. Granted, they could do both, really. That's what they did in this game. So, assuming they hire enough people, don't crunch the people, give them enough time to make the work happen, they can just do both. They can just give us as much build as narrative direction. Just means we need to wait a little longer, but I'm down for that cyberpunk 40k okay but that sounds kind of cool though <laughs> like distant distant future because this still feels near future because it is i'm kind of curious what like uh, a distant future i feel like it'd be more ghost in the shell like then or more like blade runner-esque you know what i mean like this feels near this feels more grounded in reality than something like ghost in the shell or cyber uh, or uh blade runner ever was Blade Runner always felt a little bit more sci-fi. So did Ghost in the Shell in this. Yeah, no, 40K is horrible, I know. <laughs> it's way more fucked up. Ghost in the Shell was always five minutes in the future to me. In some aspects, yes, in others, less. The cyber psychos were just experiencing the warp. Not the warp. It would actually make, make a lot of sense, though. I don't know. To me, Ghost in the Shell always felt further in the future than what happens in this game. Ghost in the Shell basically created the genre. Which was the first, like, cyberpunk piece of fiction? Hey, Google. What was the first piece of cyberpunk fiction? Shirley wrote articles on Sterling to Brucker's significance. John Brunner's 
1975 novel, The Shockwave Rider is considered by many to be the first cyberpunk novel with many of the tropes commonly associated with the genre, some five years before the term was popularized by Dozoish. All right. The Shockwave Rider. I don't know anything about it. Kind of curious. Maybe I'll look it up. Maybe I'll look it up. Yeah, it wasn't the first. Apparently, the Shockwave Rider as a novel was the first. 1975. At least it's coined as so. It is a science fiction novel by John Bruner, originally published in 1975. It is notable for its hero use of computer... Its hero's use of computer... Computer hacking skills. Why can I not read? For its hero's use of computer hacking skills to escape pursuit in the dystopian future. And for the coining of the word worm to describe a program that propagates itself through a computer network. Wait, was that the first time that was ever used? I was convinced that the word worm for a program that propagates... Actually, that makes sense. 1975. There wasn't that many computers before then. <laughs> that adds up. Sometimes I forget how recent computers are. Do Android dream... Do Android's dream of electric sheep in 1968 is a good candidate? That sounds interesting. Some people might consider that more sci-fi though, but it, it kind of... It's kind of like how, uh, what's the movie with Will Smith with the robot army? Some people think that's sci-fi. I think that's cyberpunk. It's kind of like an in-between because sci-fi and cyberpunk kind of always kind of, they just like, you know, I robot. There we go. They kind of always play in like, it's kind of like how some people think Terminator is also sci-fi. A lot of people think of that as more sci-fi, but to me, that's like fucking textbook cyberpunk. So it's interesting, you know? Because they can kind of call, kind of be called both at some point, but yeah. Isn't cyberpunk kind of a subgenre of sci-fi anyway? <sighs> Dangerous sometimes because it's not as fictiony as... It, it doesn't always fall under the fiction aspect. That's the thing. Yes and no. As in not all cyberpunk is sci-fi, but some sci-fi can be cyberpunk. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. I think that the overlap is a weird esoteric era like place where there is some stuff that is some stuff that isn't it's weird I wonder how long it took for that 1975's book to be considered cyberpunk the term was coined five years later in the 80 in the, at the start of the 80s apparently so a genre of science fiction set in lawless subculture of an oppressive society dominated by computer technology. See, the thing is, you want to call it fiction in some aspects. And yes, it is fiction. But like, in the same way that every story that's written is fiction. In some aspects, the stories in cyberpunk are more real than some real stories, if that makes sense. And some aspects of the setting, while exaggerated in some ways, they don't feel like sci-fi in the way that a lot of sci-fi feels, you know what I mean? A lot of the stuff that you see in this game, Cyberware excluded, is already real. If that makes sense. Can't you say that for any genre? Ah, it depends on what you're thinking about. In some aspects, of course, yeah. The theme, of, like, the theme that they tackle and th the themes, sorry, that they tackle and things like that, sure. But when you're talking about the actual material aspect of the... Of the... I guess the, the, the time that they're talking about and the, the, the things that exist in that world... I'd say cyberpunk is deceptively real in a lot of ways. Like I said, cyberware excluded for now. Uh, look at this clip in 10 years when we actually have cyberware, quote unquote. It's, uh, it's interesting. A square can be a rectangle, but a rectangle cannot be a square. True. True. Every squares are rectangles, but rectangles are not squares. Cyberpunk is often a very dark and dystopian look at where society is conceivably heading. Yeah. And in some aspects already is there. Like, let's not delude ourselves. There's a lot of shit that happens in this universe that is definitely real. Nothing feels more concrete than someone agreeing with you that everything is shit. I think it could be like a self... It can be a selfish thing to think that it's more real or something like that because it validates feelings that you already have. Because it resonates with things that are very... It's kind of in your face with its approach to philosophy. <laughs> but also, 
doesn't make it detached from reality in my opinion you know I mean just because it feels a bit like I said in your face doesn't make it any less real yeah I mean corpo's being powerful already is a thing today yeah are cyberpunk writers philosophers I would argue that most writers in some aspect are philosophers nowadays anyone that puts their ideas into anyone that imbues their ideology into a work be it a fiction or not that they write that they produce that they put out there you could argue i'm a philosopher by that metric from what i post from my streams and things like that so it's a bit complicated really we won't have you know big texts that remember us in like a thousand thousand years in the way others might be remembered in a thousand thousand years assuming you know we make it that far but yeah i think it is more real as it shows both the good and the bad in the haunt perspective to find what you see as which yeah or at least it feels more real i'll give it that vtubers are philosophers eh, it depends they can be philosopher poet degenerate yeah it's a good description i should put that in my in my bio just be like philosopher poet degenerate also azar to answer your question i don't intend to end yet don't worry about it unless i say so you can assume that i'm not done yet i'd rather not people be like are we done you know what I mean? It feels a bit weird to me. I don't like it. Hopefully you don't think it's bad. Like, yeah, I don't like, I don't like it when people ask me like, are we done? Are we done soon? It feels like people are trying to rush me to be done. And I know that's not what you're doing, but it feels that way. It's not done until CL goes. And with that, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> you are not wrong. Wait, let me move my model back now that we no longer have. Um... Bah. There we go. Yeah, this game, this game is definitely worth playing nowadays. I saw that they're making a definitive edition that's going to have both the base game and the DLC, by the way. Don't know how much it's going to cost, but once you can grab that on sale at some point in the future, if you want to play the game for yourself, there's a lot of different builds and things. I'm not getting paid, not sponsored, nothing like that. Uh, I don't even necessarily think they deserve for you to buy the game when they released into the state they did originally, but it's a good experience. I had a good time. So I would definitely, uh, I would definitely recommend you play it for yourself. Go through the story in your own way. Say the lines you would have wanted to say. Pick what you want to do and see how it goes. I still need to go to my bed in the Glen. Yep. Whenever I went to my bed in the Glen, you knew the stream was ending. <laughs> Granted today, it probably won't be the case. These are some thick credits, though. They are. They do be. No point getting it if you already have it. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm talking like people that have not bought the game at all yet. Which, honestly, at this point, feels like there's not that many people like that. There's a way to speed that up, right? Yeah, there is. I recommend mods for after the first playthrough as it can enhance your experience with the game. Oh, yeah, no, I know. This is my second playthrough, but, like, I didn't... So, my first playthrough was before 2.0 bit disappointing in a gameplay element but i played it anyways netrunner was the best game the best play style in my opinion at the time because it was the most like cyberpunk idea yeah, the rest of it felt not finished um and so i played netrunner now i've played a melee build with the swords i think the next one i'll do is probably going to be something to do with guns because i actually have never played a build with guns because <laughs> yeah uh it was something to see all the cool guns but never have played with any of them i felt a little i feel a little silly but yeah i've never used any of the pistols smgs assault rifles shotguns all of that stuff so if i replay the game i'll probably do a build with guns this time around never had to contend with ammo in this game the sandy gun build feels unfair for enemies i already felt unfair with the knives and blades so yeah 
If I had an affiliate link or something that might have worked for me, unfortunately, no, that doesn't exist. I mean, there's no creator code program on Steam. I, I might look into that in the future to see if there's a way for me to get like affiliate links for things that I do so that if you guys want to support the stream, you can use them. But I don't have anything like that for now. Yeah, the Sandy is uh, something else. Sandy is definitely something else. Yeah, Overclock is something else as well. I've been playing with it in my solo playthrough, and it is uh, something. You definitely feel like a... You feel like a fucking mage in a game. Spreading fucking quick hacks to everything, and they just decommish. They still feel like wizards. And they definitely do. I kind of want to try like a stealth pistol build with Sandy. See how it goes. That could be really fun. They don't even have time to react here to you being there. Yeah, you can one or two shot enemies before combat starts. It's exactly the same way it was with my knives. I see, buddy. Uh, knife headshots did like 3,000 damage critical sometimes with my bill at the end of the run. I wasn't even optimized as a, I, either. I don't know. I did my best with what I had, but I didn't look up anything. I didn't search the best, but it felt really good. Worth hiring someone? I wish I could hire someone. Meta silence. I don't have the money for that. I reminder that I make below minimum wage in France to this day. I'm not, I'm not able to afford hiring anyone for anything. I don't got the money to pay people for those kind of things, unfortunately. Avada Kedavra before using his overclock abilities. Have I ever mentioned that I've only seen like one Harry Potter movie and I don't even remember which one it was? Gotta spend money to make money. Yeah, that sounds great until you realize that I'm not even net positive at this point. So I can't do that. <laughs> I, I, I can't technically do that right now. Dream of Ryan Gosling cosplay roleplay with Keanu Reeves voices in my head. That'd be kind of funny. The rest are meh. I've never watched Harry Potter. The fact that you got that reference despite knowing so little. I mean, it's pretty hard to not have seen the stupid clip uh, with the voice, the funny voice. Tell me you're a pistol and Noah Key assault rifle. Powerful pistol, burst right A rifle with a Sandy or horrific. I think what I'm going to go for is just like a, a revolver type build at some point. I'm going to go with the Johnny, the Johnny gun, the Malorian. Wait, there's assault rifles that can upload quick hacks. That sounds fun. That sounds stupid. Oh, <laughs> the dialogue from the people uh, waiting for the Hanako thing right before the point of no return. And they give you Militech Berserk. When active, invulnerable to, to damage, cannot use items, melee weapons only, 30% attack speed, no stamina cost, higher movement speed, Increased damage at low health. When it ends, 25% health for each enemy neutralized. Well, that's an item. They give you the access token, some random shit, and gorilla arms. Interesting. And I got the whole tarot card collection. Wait, where is that mural here, actually? I don't actually know where it is. Wait, am I not nearby? I am. Oh! Ow. I wanna be a medic. Is it on the other side of this? On the side of the ember? Yeah, there we go. Death. Do I have all the tarot cards? I'm missing one. I don't know where it is. Wait, is that the one you get? Is that judgment? No, there is judgment. Which card is that? 
I wonder what I'm missing. That seems like a DLC one. Do, 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 do. Okay. Wait, can I talk to Misty now? Do you think Misty is finally stopped ascending? Transcending? Oh, hey. I saw more of those freaky murals. No, I mean... Did they start making sense? Tell any sort of story? All just a bunch of tarot cards. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my brain's now beyond repair. The tarot tells the story of a fool's journey. Show me what you found. I'll tell you what's left. Here. Hmm. You're still missing two arcana. Judgment and the devil. My guess is that they relate to a turning point in your life. One that's soon to arrive. What's this judgment about? One possible Yeah, I have judgment, future. but I think you're not supposed to at this point. Transition, awakening. The angel with the trumpet symbolizes the end of an era. And the call to rebirth. To a new beginning. Rather not run into the devil. Got a feeling he's bad vibes. That's the card of oh, primal dormant desires. The devil is if you go to the survive. Arasaka ending. Hmm, doesn't sound so bad, actually. It also represents a false world. The trap these desires lay for you. What's up with the wandering fool? The fool is you and Silverhand. You've traveled a long road together. Discovered your potential. And where are we headed? Your destination is the world. The final Arcanum. Both of you waged a war on the world. So there are two possibilities. Declare victory or make peace. Could lose the war too. Yes. Unfortunately, that's true. Cool. <laughs> thanks. Didn't get much of that, but thanks. You'll understand when the time comes. I can't explain everything. All the tarot can tell me is that you will reach the world by one of four paths. Meaning? The final leg of the journey goes through the sun, the star, temperance, or the devil. Could just die. Not even get that far. Oh, come on. You won't let that happen. Take this. That's all I can do to help. It's a dream catcher. Or it looked like one. Good luck, V. On whatever road you choose. Hey, Misty. I happen upon some more murals. A little different, these. Can't say exactly how, just... And these are, this is the, the tarot cards from Tomorrow Never Knows. Different. The DLC ones. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. So, I saw a guy wielding a pair of swords. Hmm, you've met the King of Swords. One of my personal favorites. <laughs> Something good? Well, the King of Swords sees clearly and is a strong voice of reason. But when emotions run high, even reason can't always rise above the jazz. His truths are often sharp, painful to hear. Some would rather cover their ears, live a lie, if only to avoid suffering. That makes sense, honestly. Saw this figure sitting there with... Dunno. A goblet, maybe? Ah, the King of Cups. Oh, be especially careful with anyone you've met who this card might be pointing to. Well... Gotta be careful with everyone I meet these days. On one hand, the King of Cups signifies understanding, emotional balance. On the other, he's the opposite. Manipulation and spiritual crisis. And That's kind of a the last wild thing swing. Spirit needs is even more chaos and disappointment. So there was this figure seated, holding this thing of a bob, like a club or a scepter or something? The King of Wands? So... That suggests you've met a leader who sticks to his principles in pursuing his aims, or even some grand vision. Okay, good or bad? Well, as ever, it depends on you. The King of Wands suggests fresh opportunities. The King of Thingamabob. of old patterns or habits. But I love it implies a certain danger, too, of ruthless action and shortcuts taken. 
And in the end, it could demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. Mm. The King of Wands, for those of you that don't know, was Somi. So, ruthless action and shortcuts taken. That's definitely Somi. A certain danger. Hello? Definitely Anybody Somi. Anybody there? And then demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. Yeah, I didn't get helped for jack shit with my problem with the relic. She just got to ditch. So technically, that's that all that all that adds up. So, um, saw a hooded figure, star, pentagram behind him. Devil's dealings, your area of expertise too? Mm, the king of pentacles. Having dealings of your own with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. I guess the king Someone of pentacles like was, uh... Dangerous V. Mr. Henson. The world looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. Hmm. <laughs> Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard? I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, you'll remain true to yourself. Sheesh, you're a real chum, Misty. Thanks. Great insights. Still not sure what to make of what I saw, though. Well... I think you're caught between strong personalities, warring ones even. They all want to influence you, though not all of them necessarily know it. <laughs> Nothing new there. Don't dismiss it, V. You've got new possibilities to explore, new paths to tread. On the way to either your salvation or doom. The choice is still yours, though. You still shape your life, your fate. So what do I do? Just oh, be true to yourself, V. My bad. Your heart will know the way. A life-changing event is likely imminent. Watch for it closely. Is that it? That's all the dialogue? Okay. What are you... Or is it bugged? Checking them out? Oh, did I bug her again? Oh, for fuck's sake. When you get those kind of tunes? Hey, Wait, Thanks, Miss D. There we go. I fixed it. And that gets rid of that side job. Poggers. Pan, what do you message me about? If uh, if you tell another soul... Wait, I have to tell you something. But if you tell another living soul, I will hunt you down to the ends of the earth. Understood? So you know that new song from Us Cracks, the one with Carrie Eurodyne. I normally don't listen to that kind of music, but shit. Every time it plays on the radio, I start humming along. You should check it out. Yeah, that's kind of my fault. Surely you jest. No, but seriously? Come off it. You're not fooling anyone. How would you even know Carrie Uridine? Uh, Is it really so hard to believe that I'd get gigs from Rocker Boys? Yeah, I got a gig from the Rocker Boy himself. Never met a real rock star. What's he like? I remember hearing somewhere that he wanted to kill himself and his career with a bang. Uh, oh my god, I'm not fucking reading the essay I'm about to send to her. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, the S-Crack song is icing on the cake. Exactly. I helped him. A violent three-quarter life crisis. I helped him. We're good. Is that it? Alright. Sorry, PT. I, uh, done. Alright. Where's my car? Before anyone says that, no, it's not the end of the stream. Only the end of this run. What a good song to end with, though. What a good fucking song. I'm giving this game the ending it deserves, okay? I like this song. No, I'm not doing this. I want to stay in your smile
It's called Afterlife by Ty McGrath and somebody else, but I don't remember who. I love how they... What the fuck? What is happening? Somebody's kicking me out of the game. Stop, 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 stop. What is happening? What the fuck? I'm getting kicked out of the game. Like it's all tabbing me out of the game. I, bro, boys, I'm going, I've gotten hacked. They got through my mainframe. What the fuck? My game alt tabbed like three times. I don't know why. Okay, we're back to normal. You didn't see that. Nothing happened. Yeah, it's the black wall, bro. They got to me. The rogue eyes. God damn. My driving is because of the rogue eyes as well. They, they take over my vehicle, boys. <laughs> they took over my vehicle, okay? Uh, that's what happened, I promise. They took over my vehicle, dude. The rogue eyes, they were driving. That's why they sent me flying into the wall and the car and shit. Not my fault. God damn it, dude. 80 hours on this fucking game and I still can't drive for shit. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. What's the message? Wait, what? Oh, it's the message I got on the other ending as well that I never figured out what the heck it was. Next runner contracted by whatever the fuck. Give me the deets. This actually a job? Please talk faster. Well, keep messaging me. I'm going to bed. Fucking essaying, motherfucker. <laughs> Actual essayer. And V goes to sleep. One last time on stream, baby. Ooh. He did his best. He worked hard. Give him a little... He's going to hibernate for 20 hours. Amimir. And so... Cyberpunk 2077 ends. Just like that. Can relate. <laughs> Alright. How many hours? 79 should have played faster so i finished it in 6.5